going to, into week five to play against Gers Gaming, um, they were currently the number one seed, and we knew, like, we weren't really, like, scared of them, like, oh, number one seed. We weren't, like, no one was scared. Like, everyone was going into that game, like, no, like, we're better than them. Like, if we come out and play our game, like, we're going to get the Ws and we're going to get the win. And we knew that, you know, this was an opportunity to show everybody that, you know, we're, we're still the best team in the league and, you know, it's not really that close. We were just like, we're better, we know we're better, and we can easily take the number one spot from them. It wasn't nothing about like, oh, we gotta win for the standings. It was like, all right, let's just make a statement. Like, let's let the, let's just let the, the whole league know that, like, yeah, we're still like like that. We're still the best team in the league. We're still, you know, the defending champs. And, you know, they were on Twitter chatting, you know, all year, and we we're like, all right, like, let's just make a statement. Let's just embarrass them. And that's what we did. Game one, you know, we, we had a brand to protect, you know, we're the number one team, we want to go back to back. Um, we had to assert our dominance early, so we did that. Yeah, so the first game was definitely a, one of those where we just blew them out. Uh, we ended up, I think we won by you know, 20, 22, whatever it was, and we uh, we exposed them. We held them to 50 points. So it was like, we knew their morale was down, it was one of those things that was a huge confidence boost for us. Like, we understood, like, they don't want to play us, they don't want to see us, like they, they had nothing basically for us. So it was like going into that game too, we just knew we had to do it again. I don't think they really ever had a chance to, to you know, come close or, you know, even even put some pressure on us. Um, you know, I think that just, you know, makes even more of a statement that, you know, game one wasn't a fluke and we were here to stay and, you know, they, they, it was their time to scooch behind us in that second place count. Like I said before, like it was kind of a personal. We wanted that number one seed. We wanted to be the one seed, so they gave us more of an edge. You know, gave us more of a power. Just, you know, just to go off and play well. The vibe here is just, it's just different. Like we're Wiz BG. You know, we assert ourselves. When you play us, like you know who you're playing. You know, you can't. You got to be, you know, on your P's and Q's all game. People think there's like a little um, curse in the league. Um, uh, since season one, the two teams that play in the finals have never made the playoffs. The next year. It was just a statement game, like we're here, like, you know, we're trying to go back to back. We're not, you know, like we're not content with just winning one. Like we want to win more. We got a taste of the ring, we got a taste of the extra money, um, and we want more. Coming for the crown, this is shut down. Is that the number one team we just played or what? So we realized Pistons GT is a, uh, it's a gritty team. You know, they're middle of the standings, so they're trying to get out of a hole. And we're just staying, in, we're trying to stay on top of the mountain. Game one against um, the Pistons, they definitely came out swinging. Like, they're um, giving us a run for our money. And they pretty much played a great game of basketball the whole entire four quarters. Uh, we just was a little bit better than them that game, and we got the um, win. But yeah, we, we, were, we were caught a little bit off guard. And, um, you know, we adjusted well, and we stuck to our game plan. You know, it ended up prevailing in the end, but you know, it was definitely a tough game. It was it was a testament to you know how well we could adjust the rowdy game and you know how well we could you know continue to just play as a, play as five people. Yeah, so game two starting, um, we realized game one they gave us their best fight. We knew like mentally they couldn't they couldn't stay with us mentally, so we just had to stay the course and play with DG basketball. That's what we did. Kept on a box all game and gave Jack you know opportunities on fast breaks so with Brandon. And it was just one of those things we hit our stride again. It was like it was like we kept hitting our stride. It just felt like every every series we would start a little slow, but you know we would sneak out the first game and then that game two we kind of like all right now we now we're gonna turn it up. And that's basically what happened that that game two. So game two was you know super refreshing just to you know continue to assert our dominance on uh, on these teams. You know we widened the gap from game one and you know we felt great. Um, at the same time, you know, we weren't we weren't winning the way we wanted to win. We weren't winning in the fashion that we were used to winning in, and you know, it was definitely definitely took a step back. And you know, we knew we had a tough Magic team coming up, and uh, that was you know that was that was probably their, our biggest reality check of the season so far. Yeah, um, we we're like really confident going in that, into that game. We weren't losing like scrims. We were on a win streak, like. I, I think we forgot how to lose. Like we we're just winning. Like every every game we went into, we won. You know, whenever you keep winning and winning and winning and winning on and like off the real court. So I think that got to our head. Like, yo, are we ever gonna lose? I think mentally, 
like it started getting to us. I think what led to the break in the streak was that game. I just felt like defensively as a team, we weren't all on a string together. We weren't trusting each other. Um, and I think, you know, when our defense is bad, I just don't think we're going to win a lot of games. I feel like if we win, if we can hold a team to 60 points or less, we're going to win every game. In that game, I felt like we just, we weren't all locked defensively. It was one of those things that, like, I knew eventually we were going to lose a game, but I didn't like how we went about it. You know, I feel like we just, a lot of stuff we could control in that, that game one, we, we didn't control that we, we could always have and, you know, we always do. So it was uh, definitely one of those things that was humbling and it locked us back in though for game two. So. so after our game one loss, you know, we could always come out here and talk. You know, we're, you know, we were kind of stunned, like, what just happened? We all hate losing, we're all super competitive. So going into the next game, we were just like, look, we have to trust each other defensively. Um, and I feel like that's what we did going into game two. We pretty much like all said to each other, like, um, we're like, we're a better team than them. Like, we, like our day took a game off of us. Like, it is what it is. Like, dwelling on the past is not gonna like do anything for us now. So we just had to look forward and that next game we played like was DG basketball. That showed like what kind of team we are. Like after that loss, we came back the next game, like nothing happened and like, like beat them by a good amount. Like it was really good. So you think it may have been kind of a blessing in disguise? Yeah, even though I hate that saying, I heard it um, all week after that. It was a blessing in disguise we lost. Um, I definitely think it was. I think it was one of those things that kind of brought us right down to earth. We understood the task at hand that we're still, you know, beatable. We're not, we're not the, you know, un, you know, basically if you cheat the grind, you cheat the process, you will get humbled. And that's basically what happened. And we still haven't hit our peak yet in the season. So it was like, we, we understood that like the loss didn't hurt us that bad. And I'm just glad how we bounced back from it. We just came out of that second game and we were just all guns blazing. Turn tournament is probably the most unique tournament in the whole league. Um, basically, you have bands, you have, you know, each conference is playing each other on based off seating. You have playing games. It's 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 like a really fun tournament. It's one of those things that you kind of sees how good you are as a 2K player because you don't get to play on the the best build anymore. You you know if they ban you, you got to go play on a different build and kind of changes up how you play defense, how you play offense. It's it's a really really unique tournament. And I, I love the league honestly. It's a really fun tournament. Coming into the turn, we just got off um, our first split series in a while, so it was definitely like a gut check for us, and we we're like playing like a little bit more like on edge, like a little bit more P's and Q's, but going into the turn, like we we're still like confident like in our skills, and we still knew like we can like go far in it. So Genji is kind of a, you don't know what Genji you're gonna get. You know, some games you watch them and they're like, wow, you know, they're putting up 90 points. Some games, their offense is just in the dunk. In game one, we came in, came off to a super slow start, uh, played great defense the whole game. We picked up our offense in the second half and I think we demoralized them a little bit going into game two. Game two was pretty free flowing on both ends of the floor throughout the whole game and it was, uh, we were pretty dominant throughout the whole game. Game two was another one of those games that we had our momentum going into it, and we just, it was a, a rolling train, and they just got in front of it. <laughs> and they got to end, and it was just a blowout. First round of the tournament, we basically swept Jinji. We obviously knew that they weren't a great team, but you know, it was a definitely a good morale boost. Like, we got a little bit of money under our belt now, and now we're going into the second round. This is the second time we're playing Pistons GT. You know, they have a lineup change. They brought in a new guy, Cooks Iverson. So we were ready, you know, we had to make him beat us. And, you know, he had a great game, but just came up short and we got the job done. And I think we were super well prepared for that game. I remember it was a super, it was a tough series. Um, you know, those guys are really good. They have a lot of experience in the league. And uh, yeah, we were able to take care of business. Pistons game one, like our offense was clicking on all cylinders. We implemented a new offensive set and it worked really good. So we pretty much made them play defense. Like we kept running a lot of wraps, like different sets, throwing different looks at them and it worked out for us. Game two was uh, one of those games that Justin kind of had one of his games where he got in his back and it was, uh, we kind of just were all off of Justin's energy at that point. Justin was you know, screaming, yelling, you know, telling us all what to do, directing traffic on defense. Like when, he, when he's in that mode, you know, there ain't nobody better to play with. So like we were uh, just kind of all off of him and uh, he basically 
carried us to that whole game two. Going into game two, rinse and repeat. Um, that's normally what we like to do. So after game one, we pretty much just carried it over to game two and ended the series with a sweep. Yeah, we felt going to the semis that it was our tournament to lose. Yeah, the Blazers were on a hot streak. They beat the Jazz, who we knew we were a super tough team. They beat the Timberwolves, who won the tip off. Um, you know, we knew they weren't going to come out and fall over, but at the same time, we knew if we, took, if we did what we have to do, we were going to take care of business. Game one, they came out swinging. Um, we could have been playing better, but they, they were better than us that day. Between game one and game two, we're like pretty down on ourselves. Like we're hard. Like we knew like we could have played way better, but we knew like we had to fight. So game two was a different game, but once again they pretty much got it over us. Game two, we had a chance to win. It really just came down that we got outscored in the fourth quarter. We were up by five going into the fourth and up losing by three. It was just tough, man. We were we were right there. We missed a lot of open shots. So uh, nobody really helped, like hung our head. It was just like, all right, like it sucks. Let's just get ready for playoffs. It felt pretty bad. Watching the finals was a tough pill to swallow. But at the end of the day, still one goal in the best championship. Um, we realized, hey, we're in the same position as last year. You know, we lost in the final four last year in the turn. Um, it's only up from here. Going forward, we're just gonna get better. That's just kind of what we're gonna do from at this point on. The biggest thing we understand is uh, when we're locked in, locked and loaded, there's nobody that can really hang with us. We just, we know the league is, uh, the league knows how good we are. Nobody really wants to see us. That's just the reality of it. We're gonna continue to get better. Uh, we're gonna continue to adjust, and we're gonna uh, see you, I'll see you boys and girls at the end of the end of the season. And I, I can't wait to have this conversation again. You know, we're more motivated than ever. Uh, we're gonna come in the playoffs and show everybody, every other team that we're supposed to be here and we're supposed to go back to back.